This is a 1960 Chrysler Windsor four-door sedan. The color is polar blue. It's very nice. It's kind of a medium blue. Under the hood here, well there first of all you see the lion which seems to be the symbol of Chrysler at that point. And under the hood looks very tidy. We've got power steering and uh, 383 engine, and it's called in this car the Golden uh, Lion. There's the generator. And We turn the corner and we see still the remnants of uh, fins on the car. Wide white walls and full wheel covers. Notice where the side view mirrors are. They're on the front fenders. Nice chrome moldings in the B pillar. Interior is a <coughs> combination of uh, the vinyl and the uh, woven fabric which is very nice. Now notice that the front driver's seat, the position behind the driver is a little bit uh, higher. And now for the dash. Beautiful dash. Notice the push buttons for the automatic. And I think one of the nicest looking instrument clusters around. All in one place. You have uh, in that uh, semicircular corral there, you have the speedometer and the four gauges. It's uh, almost like a video game. It's uh, three-dimensional. I'd say it was very expensive to make. Notice the crease in the roof. The roof uh, wasn't a plain uh, surface. Uh, it had some interesting uh, creases in it uh, to add uh, interest to it. And here we see the uh, back end of the car, interesting taillights, which were really followed the lines of the uh, of the back uh, fenders. And the uh, trunk is a big trunk. Very interesting taillights. They're almost uh, pieces of sculpture. Notice the sound deadening there in the uh, deck lid. And the torsion bars hold that uh, deck lid up. Back in the day, they used springs and so forth, and <clears throat> Chrysler made extensive use of torsion bars not only on their suspension but on parts like this nice chrome strip going up the uh, side of the car notice that there are two of those uh, torsion bars one attached on each side to hold that uh, that heavy deck lid up. Nice uh, curved windshield. And now the uh, the hood is held up by a spring arrangement. On some of the uh, cars, uh, they also use torsion bars. Uh, I know, I'm pretty sure on my Dart it used torsion bars.